Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into Sorcery Roblox and talking about something that can either make or break your game. Cursed techniques or CTs. You know the pain, right? Getting stuck with a third-rate CT? Oh, that has CTs. While everyone else is running around with Limitless or Shrine, flexing on you like they're the king of the server. Yeah, it's rough, but don't worry, until you hit the jackpot with one of those top-tier CTs, there are still some solid options you can use to hold your own. In this video, I'm breaking down the definitive Cursed Techniques tier list for Sorcery Roblox. We're going to chat about which CTs are absolute garbage and which ones will carry you to victory, even if they're not the best of the best. So whether you're looking to avoid the worst or find that sleeper OP CT, stick around because I've got you covered. Let's jump in. I'm quickly moving on to the video and I'm ranking Shiki in Sorcery. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of tier list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching. A very small portion of the audience is subscribed to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like these types of videos. Thanks. The cursed techniques in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, boogie woogie. Alright, so let's talk about the C tier cursed te e techniques in sorcery on Roblox. Yeah, these aren't the most exciting. If you're stuck with them, you're going to want to equip a weapon for a little extra kick, because relying on these alone is going to leave you pretty underpowered. Let's dive in and discuss why these techniques are just not it. First up, we have Boogie Woogie, and oh boy, to do would not be proud. This cursed technique lets you swap places with another player, which sounds kind of cool, right? Well, yeah, it can be useful if you're playing with a squad, but if you're running solo, this is by far the worst technique you can get. Imagine trying to get away from an enemy or trying to outmaneuver a boss, and all you can do is swap places. Not the most clutch move. It's like having a tool that's great in theory, but falls flat in most situations. When you're in a team, sure, Boogie Woogie could let you switch with a teammate who's better positioned, but in 90% of situations, it's just not going to help. If you're playing good solo, it almost feels like a wasted slot in your kit. You're better off investing in a decent weapon or another ability to help you get through tougher fights. So overall, C-tier curse techniques in sorcery? Let's just say they're not making any headlines. Grab a weapon, maybe pair it with a slightly better technique, and power through until you get something that actually packs a punch. Boogie Woogie might get you a few laughs, but it's not getting you many wins. The cursed techniques in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, projection sorcery and cursed speech. Alright, let's dive into the B tier cursed techniques in sorcery on Roblox. Now don't get me wrong, these techniques are decent, but they're definitely not going to carry you to the top of the leaderboard. Think of them as the starter pack for sorcerers. If you're just getting into the game, there are solid choices to help you get your bearings. But trust me, if you're aiming to take down the King of Curses or flex on your friends as a top grade sorcerer, you're going to want to level up and snag something in a higher tier down the line. Let's start with projection sorcery. Now, this one can actually be sheer fun to mess around with, especially if you're up against newer players. Basically, you get to freeze your opponent in place, literally, and then just go to town with your combos. It's like getting a free shot at them without having to worry about dodging their attacks. But here's the thing, once you start facing more experienced players, this technique starts to show its cracks. It just doesn't stack up against some of the other, more powerful cursed techniques. It's a little like bringing a water balloon to a fireball fight, you know? Next up, we've got Cursed Speech. Now on paper, this technique sounds awesome, right? You get three different moves that give you a ton of utility. But, and this is a big but, if your opponent knows what they're doing, Cursed Speech can become pretty meh. Like, if they know how to avoid your traps by not standing near ledges, it loses a lot of its bite. It's kind of like setting up a genius prank, only for your friend to walk around it. Funny for them, not so much for you. So yeah, these B tier techniques aren't bad, but they're not gonna make you the king or queen of sorcery. Think of them as your training wheels. Use them while you're learning the ropes, but make sure to upgrade once you've got the hang of things. The cursed techniques in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Idle Transfiguration, Disaster Flames, Mimicry, Mythical Beast Amber, and Blood Manipulation. So, let's dive right into some of the A-tier curse techniques in Sorcery, because while these aren't the absolute top of the food chain, trust me, they're still a blast to use and can absolutely carry you through some tough fights. If you've been unlucky with those S-tier drops, don't sweat it. These techniques will still give you an edge. Let's start with Idle Transfiguration. This one's got some serious mobility thanks to Soul Blades, which makes darting around your enemies a breeze. 
Plus, the combos are super easy to land. But here's the thing, the range is a little lackluster. You've got to be careful with how you use those soul blades because if you miss, you're left in a pretty bad spot. It's like one minute you're slicing through enemies and the next, oops, no more blades and now you're stuck in the middle of a fight with no exit strategy. Next up, we've got Disaster Flames, which is perfect if you're dealing with a crowd. It's got a couple of AoE moves that really come in clutch when you're facing multiple opponents. But, and here's the kicker, every attack knocks opponents back, which sounds cool until you realize it makes combos kinda tricky. It's like trying to give someone a one-two punch, but the first punch sends them flying across the room. So, you've gotta be smart about how you follow up your hits, or you'll be chasing people more than you'll be fighting them. Alright, let's talk about Mimicry. This one is honestly kind of meh when you first get it. Like, don't expect to do much with just one or two slots unlocked. But once you've unlocked all the four, oh boy, it gets wild. Mimicry is all about improvisation. You get a random selection of moves, so if you're the type of player who can think on their feet, this is your technique. The learning curve is steep though. It's like trying to juggle while someone keeps swapping out the balls for flaming swords. But once you get the hang of it, it's incredibly rewarding. Now, Mythical Beast Amber. This is the one that's probably the most fun to play. Naji nuts, is she is face. The combos are smooth, the damage is great, and honestly, it just feels good to use. Except, there's one little quirk. When you're using Lightning Lance, you can't lock your camera. And if you're like me, that throws you off. It's like playing a game where suddenly the controls are reversed. It takes some getting used to, but if you can deal with that, you're gonna love this technique. Lastly, we've got Blood Manipulation, which is all about zoning and combos. The range on Piercing Exorcism? Chef's Kiss. It's such a good move for keeping enemies at a distance and dealing solid damage. But, and this is important, Blood Manipulation guzzles cursed energy. You miss a couple of key moves and suddenly you're out of energy, scrambling to stay alive. So, while it's great when you land your hits, it's punishing if you don't. So, yeah, these A-tier techniques are nothing to scoff at. Sure, they've got their quirks, but once you get the hang of them, they can be game changers. It's all about finding the one that clicks with your playstyle and running with it. The cursed techniques in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Shrine, Limitless and Golden Ratio. Alright, let's talk about the absolute beasts of sorcery, the S tier cursed techniques. These are the ones you need to get your hands on if you want to crush curses and dominate your matches. Seriously, if you aren't using these, you're missing out on some game breaking stuff. First up, we've got Shrine. This bad boy is basically the king of cursed techniques in sorcery. The damage? Insane. The range? Ridiculous. And don't even get me started on the AoE. This thing can clear a room full of enemies like it's nothing. The crazy part? It has no downsides, like zero. If you're running Shrine, you're pretty much set to sweep the battlefield. Next is Limitless, and man, this one's a game changer. It's got fantastic range and damage, but what really makes it stand out is how easy it is to use. You don't have to be a pro to pull off some insane moves with this one. Plus, every skill in the kit has AoE capabilities, making it perfect for those chaotic fights where you're surrounded by enemies. It's just as strong as Shrine, and that's saying a lot. And finally, we've got Golden Ratio. Now this technique is all about pure raw damage. We're talking absurd levels of damage that can wipe out an opponent before they even know what hit them. The best part? The moves are super easy to combo together, so you'll be seeing those 100 dual combos left and right. The only catch is that you need a weapon to make it work, but honestly, that's a small price to pay for the kind of devastation you'll be dishing out. The video ends here. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.